watching Edipedia World videos. In this session, we will learn about price list. This session will help you in understanding the concepts of price list. We will explore how pricing is handled in SAP Business One. We will look at the type of prices that can be set up for items in the system. We will talk about the items and the price list. We will look at how those prices are associated with a business partner and how these prices can be brought into a document. Let us assume that your company uses price list for different groups of customers. Some customers such as your important customers may receive some special pricing. In addition to these pricing, they may also receive discounts that are based on item groups or the properties of the items that are being sold. Periodically they may get extra discounts on the list price based on the volume purchasing or during the sales events within SAP Business One. Now businesses have need for flexibility in pricing. Different customers receive different prices based on circumstances of sales. For example, a one-time customer pays a higher price than a regular customer or one of your resellers. Similarly, a customer buying a large volume will get a high higher price or let us see about the pricing in SAP Business One. Let's assume that the businesses may have need of flexibility in pricing which is a right assumption. Now different customers receive different prices based on the circumstances of the sales. For example, a one-time customer pays a higher price for a regular customer or one of your reseller may pay a lower price. Similarly, a customer buying a larger volume will get a better price than a customer buying only once. Internet customer get a lower price than the customer who need customer service in a store environment. And that is why SAP Business One has several ways to handle these pricing. First type of pricing is rather simple, a basic way of pricing. You can set up prices for different groups of customer. On each price list, you can enter a price for each item and unit of measure. Then when a business partner who belongs to that price list buys an item, they get right price for their goods. Second is the period and volume discount. Now the base price for the product may not be enough. You may want to set up sales price for a limited time period. You may want to give a discount when a customer buys in volume. Period and volume discount allows you to define discount dates or that are based on volumes or based on an event or based on a periodic within a day in trade. Period and volume discounts allows you to define discounts by dates and based on the volume. This is very useful when a company is dealing with large amount of customers buying a large amount and large quantities of the goods. Discount groups. You can define discount percentage with item groups, properties or manufacturer. The next level of pricing is this discount group. You can add discounts based on these things. If a sales order line item is relevant for a discount group, then the price will override a price for that item that is based on period or volume discount or price list. The last is special prices for business partner. Sometimes you may want to give an even better deal to your favorite customers. In that case, you can use special prices for your business partners. You can base your discount on any price list or simply enter them manually. You can define discounts by date range or quantities and units of measure. Special price is defined for a business partner overrides all other prices. That means this is the highest priority that is given to any of the price list. However, please note that the unit of measure defined in the special price must match the unit of measure specified in the row for the discount to apply. This is the priority. The system will first check the special prices for business partner, then come out to discount groups, then period and volume discounts, then price list. Let us start with the basic way of pricing. 
Managing multiple price lists allow you to provide flexibility in pricing. For example, you want to offer customers that make regular purchases from you or who purchase large quantities at lower price than the customer who only make occasional purchases or purchase small quantities. Now let us see in the ICP business one how it looks like. At the item master level, this is the price list. You can see there are a couple of price lists that are already defined. Every item in your system is automatically linked to the every price list that have you have defined within the system. You can set an indicator in general settings that removes item without prices from price list that we can see later on. When you look in an item master, you will see that you can view prices for multiple price lists directly in item master. You can assign prices for the items in all but two of the price list. Two of the default price lists are maintained by the system and cannot be maintained by the users. That is last evaluated price and the last purchase price. However, even though it is possible you may not wish to maintain pricing for other price lists directly in the item master because it overrides automatic pricing in a price list. This is the business partner master data and you can see here the price list that is default for this business partner my customer when you create a business partner a price list is assigned to each of the business partner price list can be default from the customers or customers group or can be assigned payment terms if no price list is assigned for the customer group a business partner is assigned to only one price list you can view and change the defaulted price list in the business partner master data you can see that this is our sales order and then you can see some of the special prices that are associated here and this is the form setting since a document that can contain prices not only from price list but also from other types of special pricing period and volume discounts discount groups and special prices for business partner it is useful to able to identify the source of the pricing so what we can do the price source field provides the information on the source of pricing and discounts on the item row. What we can do, we can go in the form settings, we can type in price and we can just check on this checkbox here that will activate the price source and when the price source is activated you can see for this item how the price is coming and what is the source of this pricing. Now, how the pricing priorities are defined in SAP Business One? First, the system will see for the special prices for business partner, then discount group, then period and volume discount, then price list. Since you can define several prices in the system for the same item, the system need to use a certain logic to find valid pricing, starting with the most specific price. The system uses above list of priorities to find a valid price and once it has found the price, it enters in the resulting document. So summing up all the things, there are four types of pricing in SAP Business One, price list, period and volume discounts, discount groups and special pricing for business partner. Second point is when you create a marketing document, the system brings in the price list associated with the business partner of the header to the document. You can view the assigned price list in the form settings window. You can change the assigned price list in the document either by changing it directly or by choosing different payment terms. As you enter items in the documents, the system proposes a price for each item based on the price list. The system looks first for the most specific price and continues until it finds an applicable price. The pricing hierarchy order a special price for a business partner. Discount groups, period and volume discounts based on price list associated with the marketing document. And finally, prices in the price list. The price source field shows the source of the prices and discounts in the document row. Thank you.